everybody. It's Tanisha, also known as Craft Tea of Craft Tea Creations, LLC. And I just wanted to stop by really quick today to show you all uh, what can be done uh, with the Diva silhouettes that we offer. Um, it's been a while since we've demonstrated or since I've demonstrated, and I am getting a lot of emails from customers or concerns um, about the new silhouettes. We've had these for several months now, but some people are just starting to to order again, maybe time for the holidays. And these do look different from what we had uh, this time last year. They were a lighter wood. This is still the same hardboard. It is still tempered on both sides, uh, one eighth inch. It's still the same size product. The wood is just a little bit darker. It's a darker shade. And there seemed to be some concern um, about painting, about why it was darker. The only reason we changed to a darker wood is because we were able to get this in much larger quantities um, for our manufacturers because we now mass produce these. Um, and uh, I don't just run down the street to Home Depot uh, to buy hardboard. We get it by the pallets now. So it is a little bit darker, uh, darker wood. But it still paints the same. Uh, I painted all three of these divas. Uh, this was, uh, let's see, this is uh, ivory silk. Is this one? No, this one is ivory silk. Hello. Ivory silk is this one. I don't remember what color brown uh, paint I picked on this one. This is warm caramel, I believe. Yeah, warm caramel. So you see three different three different shades there. Uh, I did coat ivory, uh, ivory silk. I did twice. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to dry in between. Um, it dries really, really quickly. I used the Rust-Oleum two times paint. It has the paint and the primer all in one. Um, the two times brand. Ultra cover is what it says. Now, I will tell you, when I did the ivory, as I said, I did two coats. Now, the darker brown, I only sprayed once. But you still go ahead and paint your face and do the designs and things like that right on there. And then I add a coat of spray acrylic after I've painted so that everything stays in place. Now, on the Don, you remember he's etched. Okay, so when you spray paint him, the etch lines are still going to show through. You're still going to be able to uh, outline the, uh, the beard, you know, or put glitter for the beard or use our SVG file and print a, a Cricut vinyl for the beard. All of that will still be the same. Uh, you just spray paint him whatever color that you may choose. Now, I also did one a while back that wasn't really a flesh color at all. This is purple glitter. You can do anything with these divas. Just because it comes in this solid brown doesn't mean she has to stay that way, okay? And the hardboard that we use um, on that diva is the same hardboard that we use on the Dawn, the same hardboard that we use on the Praying Diva. You can use the same paint on any silhouette that we have. You can use the paint on the Black Lives Matter uh, fists that we have. I spray painted mine in several tones for the palette sign that I made, you all might remember. The Rust-Oleum two times paint is, is what you're gonna use. Okay, so you've seen that you can definitely paint your diva, paint it in a, in a variety of skin tones, glitter it, whatever, leave it brown if that's the color that you want to use for your particular design. I also want to show you something else that we are coming up with here at Crafty Creations. When we originally came up with this uh, diva and um, started calling it a diva wreath, these were bigger. They were a little bit bigger and the wood was, of course, lighter. Uh, but to accommodate when we began to produce them in larger quantities, 
um, to save on mailing um, for our customers, just a lot of things. We decreased the, si the size just a little bit. But a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people wanted the Diva to be bigger. And then they wanted a distinctly different size maybe for a child. So what we have done is recreated each of our designs. The Diva, the Praying Diva, and the Dawn. We have recreated in larger sizes. This is the regular Diva. This is the large Diva. And I will have some specific measurements on the website. These are going to be released on October 1st. You will find these on the website. Okay. So there's the large Diva. And then there's the regular, regular Diva. They're about an inch larger all the way around, as you can see. Okay, so that's the large praying diva. I mean, the large regular diva. Then we have the praying diva. That's the regular size. We have a large version of the praying diva. You can see the difference. An inch bigger almost all the way around. Of course, can't be precise, but it's about an inch bigger. Um, inch and a half on this one almost. Uh, on the Praying Diva, as well as the Dawn. Okay, that's our regular Dawn, and then we have the Dawn in a large size. You can see the size difference between those two as well. So I definitely wanted to take the time out since we were talking about coloring um, these silhouettes uh, to let you all know that not only can you change the color of the wood, and yes, it is darker, but they are meant to be painted, which is why they are tempered. Not only can you color the divas, they now come in a regular size and in a large size. They will be listed on the website on Wednesday. Check there for ordering information, pricing, and all of that. will be on the Crafty Creations website October 1st. All right? So thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. You can check me out on Facebook as Crafty Creates, on Twitter and Instagram of Crafty of KC, and right here on YouTube. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much and happy crafting. Bye.